The cinnamon challenge is to swallow a spoonful of cinnamon without water. Because cinnamon is a common food additive, we assume it is safe. But cinnamon does not dissolve like sugar. Cinnamon is powdered tree bark, essentially wood dust. And serious lung damage can occur from inhaling wood dust because, like asbestos, cellulose in the lung persists indefinitely. It cannot be removed by your body. And as these examples of the cinnamon challenge show, the risk of inhaling cinnamon dust is high. Cinnamon is composed of cellulose. Just like deadly asbestos, cellulose cannot be removed from your lungs once it is inhaled. Scientists therefore call cellulose in the lungs, biopersist and. Scientists believe this biopersistence explains the long-term damage observed in the lungs of laboratory animals exposed to cellulose. A single inhalation of cellulose may cause asthma within 2 to 30 days. Depending on the dose inhaled, over the following 3 to 6 months more serious consequences have been observed such as granulomata, interstitial fibrosis, alveolar histiocytosis, alveolar lipoproteinosis, and alveolar cell hyperplasia. After a year, granuloma and thicken interalveolar septal with worsened inflammation and fibrotic lesions have been observed in lungs exposed to a single dose of cellulose. Here is a case report of a 16-year-old girl who made the cinnamon challenge several times successfully but then failed on her last try and inhaled a large dose of cinnamon dust. I was laughing and it got caught in my throat, I got dizzy, and I just couldn't breathe at all, so I almost like, like, it almost killed me that night. This here on high school freshman found out the hard way how dangerous the cinnamon challenge can be. Her dad remembers rushing her to the hospital. He says the cinnamon got into her lungs. She was really in and out of consciousness, um, um, and, and really pale, she really couldn't breathe at all caused her right lung to collapse and the cinnamon had given her an infection in her lungs which resulted in, in pneumonia. She never had breathing problems before the challenge but today can't go without an inhaler. She since started her own website urging teens to say no to the cinnamon challenge. Last year nearly 200 phone calls were placed to the poison control center and at least 30 youths here in the U.S. needed medical attention. Some hospitalized for collapsed lungs. Winning the cinnamon challenge brings no real or lasting reward, but failing it can bring serious long-term damage to your life and health. There is not even the slightest reason to accept this stupid challenge. So please do not do the cinnamon challenge and share this video with your friends.